Hi, this is Jerry from AppDataWorks. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to configure your computer and TeamViewer to allow you to wake your computer up if it's in a sleep state from a remote location. Now, this uh, particular video, the only thing that I can't really show you is how to go into the BIOS to change the uh, setting in the BIOS to allow uh, the wake on land feature. So that's one thing you're going to have to find for yourself is to go you know, restart your computer and get into your system BIOS and you'll have to hunt around in there for, um, for the, the section that has the setting for wake on LAN. It's never going to be the same place in the same menu on every BIOS. It's always, always different. They're always different. So once you have that turned on and assuming that you can turn it on in your particular computer, then you'll be able to follow the rest of these steps. So the very first thing we want to do is we're going to configure our router. Now I have an Aris router, which is part of my my business cable internet that I that I have here in my office. You'll have a different router. The language will be different. The screens will be different, but the principle is still the same. So the the first thing you want to do is open up your router's login screen. Log into your router. And what you're going to want to look for is uh, your firewall. Basically, port forwarding is what you're looking for. In this particular router, it's called virtual servers. So I'm going to add a virtual server. I'll call it Team Viewer Wake on LAN. And we'll make the inbound port 9. And the format needs to be UDP. We'll leave the private IP alone. Oh no, the private IP has to be this computer. Now I have already configured my computer uh, for a fixed IP address, but let me just go in here and show you how what we're going to do. We'll open up the, uh, to get that, we'll open up the uh, control panel, all control panel items, network and sharing center. We'll change the adapter settings. We'll get into our Ethernet adapter status, details, and that's my IP address right there. How I set that is to set up the properties, go into the IPv4 Internet Protocol version 4 settings or properties and then you use your you set up your specific IP address. Um, this is beyond the scope of this video so if you don't know how to do this then you shouldn't be even proceeding. You need to know how to set your own permanent IP address on your computer in your own network. Okay so let's close this guy out and we know what the IP address is. Come on go away. Uh, and um, so that's what I need to do. I need to get in and get my personal, my private IP address here and also the same port. Okay? Then you're going to want to click Add Virtual Server to add the port forward to your router. Alright, so that's, now that that's added, one of the things we have to do to set up TeamViewer is we have to know what the public IP address is for your router. Okay, it's right here in WAN settings. All right, so this is the IP address of the router, okay? So we can just copy this into the clipboard, and then we can open up TeamViewer, and this is where we're going to set it in TeamViewer. First, you click Extras, Options, Wake on LAN, Configure, put in the IP address of your router in the port, which we set up for 9. Okay, and it's as simple as that. Now it's done. All right, so now what will happen is when you are looking at another computer and I'm, I'll actually show you how, how this works because I have my computer at home set up the same exact way okay so it's offline right now oh no it's not offline so what we want to do is let's get the home PC and let's load it up so I can put it to sleep okay so now that we can see that the uh, home PC is offline this computer that I'm recording on, the one I just set up, is going to appear the same way once it goes into sleep mode. Then you just uh, click the down arrow on an offline computer and click wake up. It takes a few seconds for it to load up. And so now the um, team viewer reports that the, the home PC is now online and now I can connect to it. And that's it. I'll just leave that in locked mode and close this. So that's basically how it works when you're, I'm at work right now and I want to connect to a computer, my home computer, and it was, I have it set up so that it goes into standby to save power. And I have this, my home, my work computer here. 
uh, set up the same exact way. This is Jerry Buta from AppDataWorks IT Consulting. Have an awesome day.